So throughout elementary school, when I first got to public school, I had a lot of teachers who just did not teach me anything because they didn't think I needed to learn anything because I was already above that level. So basically they weren't giving me the tools I needed to even reach a higher education than I already was at. So it was more like a flat line for a while. But when I got to Carroll, I realized things were a lot harder for me. And it took me a while to realize that it was because the teachers were giving me work that was actually making me think and have to learn on my own personal level. So it really helped to understand that learning is different for each and every student and the way that we learn can be completely different, but we can all get to the same goal. Instruction in a competency-based education environment, or a CBE environment, focuses on each student's ability, learning style, and learning pace, and shifts an educator's role from teaching to facilitating learning. The year before um, we implemented personalized learning and competency-based education, we had a growth index of negative four, which indicates excessive negative growth. But after one year of implementation, our growth um, was positive seven, which means that we exceeded growth. And every year since then, our school has um, exceeded growth. So the data speaks for itself. But beyond the data, we have seen an increase in teachers' efficacy. We've seen our students more engaged because they're receiving instruction at their own pace um, and they have their own path of learning. Students are more engaged because they have choices in their learning and our educational program as a whole is designed based on what they need. The Regional Education Laboratory Southeast North Carolina CBE Research Alliance developed a CBE mastery framework that outlines critical instructional practices that support, enable, and sustain CBE implementation under the teaching dimension. This starts with employing educators that have a strong content expertise and applying a pedagogy that personalizes instruction. Personalization is no longer uh, a new innovative uh, a way of uh, teaching and learning is what we have to do for our students each and every day because the students that come into our classroom um, are have diverse needs and it's our responsibility to be able to meet them where they are and to make sure that we're continuing to challenge them. And so that's why CBE personalization is just so important and so critical in what we do as educators each and every day. Finding the right people to be in the school, they need to be flexible, they need um, to be respectful, not just of each other, but of the students. Um, they need to have that coach's mindset and that growth mindset. So for me, the absolute most important thing to start with is finding the right people um, to, be, to lead that competency-based education environment. As instruction shifts to be more personalized, teachers are leveraged as facilitators or coaches. We do take um, a coaching mentality. So here at NEAT, um, students will call me Coach Gibson as opposed to Mrs. Gibson. So we are all called coaches here um, because we want to let our students know that that's the mentality we're taking. We're facilitators of learning. We don't own the learning. We want the students to own it. And so that's something that we really do focus on here. By doing you know, this type of education, we are really putting um, the ball in the students' hands, as it were, um, to show us you know, what they can do and what they can't do and allows us to be more facilitators, more guides on the sides, you know, um, on, instead of standing up on the stage, you know, just talking at them. Educators must also spend time working on designing curriculum and authentic assessments with specific competencies or learning targets as the foundation and provide multiple opportunities for students to show what they know and can do. My instruction has significantly changed because we have started as we plan collaboratively at, as a grade level. And so we have unpacked the standards and instead of just giving like a holistic pre-assessment or post-assessment, we have dissected each standard that we teach and I teach all subjects. So going through each individual standard and breaking that standard apart so that it's not, okay, we're learning fractions. It is very specific to today we are learning this individual part of this standard. So unpacking the standards has been the biggest shift in what I have done as an educator um, that has changed how I view things. Not not only has it given me a better understanding of what I'm teaching,
but it's also allowed me to teach the students better because it's more isolated which helps them to feel more successful because whereas a student might not get the whole picture they get bits and pieces that then they can kind of push together and the puzzle comes together for them in a competency-based model it's really important that educators uh, recognize individual student needs and be able to respond to those um, and also in ways that allow students to demonstrate their learning through uh, what some might refer to as alternative assessments. So performances, performance tasks uh, versus uh, more traditional quizzes and multiple choice tests. So it requires uh, educators who are able to recognize individual needs um, and to be able to design instruction that really uh, enables students to demonstrate their learning um, through a skills-based approach more than just a uh, rote knowledge-based approach. Also, it's really important for educators to have an awareness of standards um, and how a student may demonstrate those. Tools and other resources for real-time student feedback should also be used when teaching in a CBE environment. We also have what we call a learning roadmap. So our learning roadmap just maps out what standards we're gonna teach in what order for the whole year. So as students are mastering those standards, they are able to change their colors in the roadmap. So that way they're able to follow along and they're able to see exactly where they are, exactly where they need to go and exactly how they're gonna get there. They can see their progression as they are starting to master standards, we change colors. They have a red, yellow, green, or a blue based on where they're at within that standard, that learning progression. And so they'll change those colors so that way they are able to see and know exactly what standards they are working on and what standards um, they still need more help with. Making these pedagogical changes requires careful consideration and commitment by educators, school leaders, and the community. I also think a key consideration would be that there's a certain amount of organized chaos. This looks so very different from traditional teaching and learning from the Industrial Revolution and all that came from that in terms of education and educating children. But there's an organized chaos to this that I think folks really need to be aware of and anticipate so that they can respond accordingly. So I think um, our teachers have really had to have a lot of training and a lot of professional learning on how to give feedback appropriately, how to provide assessments that most represent what we're actually trying to assess for. So really aligning to the standards and the teachers have done a really good job of that in the past few years of figuring out how to, to best manage that. And so I think my biggest thing would just be to encourage teachers, encourage educators, encourage other schools to actually do their own research, look into these things and understand that it's not extra. It's not here to give us more work. It is here to make sure our students are successful. It is here to make sure that we are providing them the best education, that we're meeting their needs, where their needs have to be met, and that we're preparing them for the future. So I would definitely encourage everybody to move to competency-based education because it does make a huge difference. And I feel like I am a better teacher for it because I am able to meet all of my students' needs. For more information about CBE, including additional videos related to the CBE Mastery Framework, visit the Regional Education Laboratory Southeast website.